Manchester by the Sea is about human survival. It's a story about shame and tragedy and grief, which is something that every single human being has to deal with at some point. One second, we just got, I just got to log off. It is actually quite funny at times, and I think it's sort of just as uplifting as it is depressing. The screenplay and the performances are at the centerpiece. They're the most important thing here. I just want to tell you that I was wrong. You understand, you understand there's nothing, there's nothing there. I think people are going to feel like this really happened and they're going to root for these characters. You really care about these people and you're going to really feel something powerful. Matt Damon and John Krasinski brought me the basic idea for the story and asked me to write the script. And the idea that grabbed me was this idea of a character who's lost everything and has to go home to his hometown where he doesn't ever want to go back to to take care of his nephew after the death of his brother. No, don't do that. I'm going to come up there right now. I like the sense of how to do a story about someone who's been through something that terrible and is still trying to cope and still trying to do the right thing for his family. Manchester by the Sea is written in just a magically evocative, beautiful way. It's very moving. Kenny Lonergan's writing is just peerless, and his characters are so deeply drawn and richly drawn. There's such great detail. It feels like real life. I'll be the bad guy, and you be in the hospital and explain the jokes to your son. I'm going home. Sweetheart. You're going home? You're going home? Yep. Let me get it back. Fucker. You know, Come on, what's that stuff that already? Shit. This story unfolds in flashbacks, and it's it's uh, constructed in this way that it's just creates all this mystery and tension, so it pulls you in. Daddy. You sort of get to know these people, and you get to love them. Oh, God, no. Oh, what do you think you're going to do? And then you start to learn what has happened to them in the past. Kenneth not only writes these incredibly sort of realistic people, but then he ch chooses good actors to play them. Every single person I've encountered, they're all at sort of the top of their game as far as what they can bring to these characters. I think that his execution is specific to his vision, and I actually enjoy the fact that he was directing and that he wrote it because I think that it made an easy transition. I met Kenny Lonergan 15 years ago. I stayed in touch with him, and he sent me the script of Manchester by the Sea, and, you know, I said, this is one of my favorite scripts I've ever read. This is one of the best roles I've seen come along in a long time, and I, I can't think of an actor who could do it as well as Casey. My expectations were very high, but I didn't have any idea how spectacularly nuanced and emotional and detailed and really beautiful his acting was going to be. Susie does home. I play Lee Chandler, who is a father of three, and there's a terrible accident, and he loses uh, a bunch of his family. He's a guy who can't quite get around the tragedy that's happened to him. And um, I think you see that manifested in many different ways, the simplicity with which he leads his life, the tension and the anger that he carries. And I think when we meet him, he's still a shell of the guy he used to be. It's funny, I don't think of him as being an expressive. I think he's just expressing different emotions from what people would expect in the different situations that he's in. For instance, he shows up at the hospital and his brother's passed away and he's very upset, but he's upset in a different way from how the other people there expect. Hi, Lee. Is he dead? His brother's best friend, who's played by C.J. Wilson, is there, and he's weeping. And you can tell that Lee is also upset, but you cannot tell in what way. There's something weird and wrong with the way he channels his feelings. OK, yeah, we've got to talk about the boat and the website and all that. Sure, I'm around. You learn eventually that it's because he's trying to hold them at bay because they're just too much for him. So to me, the character is extremely active and very expressive. He's working all the time at things that the rest of us don't have to work at. Casey can make you really feel all the levels of what's happening with the characters that he's playing. And I think you have to have an actor like that in order to pull off a role like this. Just look at Casey's face when he's playing those scenes. Something's always going on in his mind, but the specificity of the moments really works. We've worked on this a lot, just how he copes with small things and big things, because, you know, he's, he's a guy who's like trying to keep the walls from caving in on him every single day he's alive.